Tracy and Paige. Guys, we're headed to Minnetonka, Minnesota, and it's our 100th episode. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I mean, how amazing has it been? I mean, you know what's wild? I mean, we, we, we've met so many families, been touched by their stories. They've definitely left an impact in my life. But you know, we've, we've met 100 families and we've met 100 communities, and they're the ones who really pull it together. Yeah. I mean, somebody come to mind, like the, the Cabina family down in Texas, those little twins oh, that my fought God. cancer. How is she doing? How are the Good. girls? Good. They're both doing better. What the Cabina family went through with those two little girls having cancer at the same time. They just had that light in their eyes that, that you, you knew that, that they were going to make it. Do you remember the Ginyard family? Oh, when, yeah. we, when you yelled on the bullhorn and they came all, all flying out. out the front door, they all piled on top of each other. She had gone through domestic abuse, yeah. too. I mean, she knew she was a, in a bad yeah. situation. She moved all those kids out. That's, yeah. that's a really strong woman. Do you guys remember the Rapati Pierce family in, in Redondo Beach? Christina was the police officer who was shot. She was such a competitor and such a, an athlete. It's people like that that keep you doing what you do. Yep. Well, speaking of family, <laughs> hello. Oh, Hi. Yeah. oh my Congratulations. gosh. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. Order. <laughs> yeah, Oliver was season two. And then season five, we've got this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so awesome. I love that like your family is growing as, as we're meeting more families. <laughs> so here's the cool thing is this week hopefully we're going to meet some of those families that we've really helped out. But right now it's really time to focus on the 100th family we're actually helping. Um, guys, I want you to meet the Swinson Lee family. These guys have been through a lot of tragedy and basically it's two families becoming one. Take a look at this tape and you'll see why we're here. Hi, ABC. We're the Swinson Lee family. I'm Eric, the dad, and a football coach. I'm Vicky, I'm the mom and a volleyball coach. I'm Taylor, and I'm 13. I'm Tyler, and I'm 10. I'm Samantha, and I'm 10. I'm Trevor, and I'm 9. I'm Tara, and I'm 7. And these are 20-month-old twins, Stella. And Olivia. And number 10 is on the way. Welcome to our home! A few years ago, Vicki and Eric Swenson were living a comfortable life with their three children in a house they were renovating to make perfect for their family. Now, unfortunately, life wasn't as easy for Vicki's sister, Terry Lee, and her four kids. It was five years ago when their dad passed away. My sister's kids at the time were one, three, five, and seven. Uh, Taylor being the seven-year-old, um, she was in the car in the, with her dad in the car accident. And I was in the front seat with him and I was sleeping. He was driving and all I remember is that the car was rolling over and then I went into the ambulance. It was all like a blur. After the accident, Terry eventually moved on and even started dating again. But things soon went bad in her new relationship. And when she broke up with her boyfriend, Stephen, he became violent and threatened her life. Terry's life had been attempted on July 29th. He broke into her home and attacked her with two butcher knives. And the neighbor saw his car and called the police. Why'd you bring those knives here? I was just, there's no reason why I brought them. Uh, they had uh, mostly to maybe straighten her out. <laughs> I have to kill you. Okay. I told him I had four children who had already lost their father and that needed a mom. Yeah. After Stephen was released on bail, he began stalking Terry and her kids. So she took out a no contact order, installed an alarm system, and instructed her kids to call the police if they ever saw him. Her new boyfriend, Tim, was even staying at the house at night to protect him, but it wasn't enough. We went bed to bed, and I could not sleep. I just had a bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. And so I went to sleep in my mom's room next to her. And then at 2 o'clock in the morning, Something very bad happened. <laughs> my mom's ex-boyfriend came in with a gun, and he shot both Tim and my mom. I don't know an emergency. Yeah, I got shot fired next door to our neighbor's house. I have her two daughters are right here. They said their mom's been shot down the ground. Mm -hmm. How many times was your mom shot? I know one time in the stomach and one time in the hand. I don't know about the other one. He got my mom's boyfriend, too. I think he's dead. There's another victim there as well? Uh-huh. He was just whacking through with this. <laughs> he killed both Terry and Tim. Tyler's first comment was, this can't be. And he said, I'm not over my dad's death. It's hard. Those four kids lost a lot. My mom was really nice and caring always making sure we were happy and 
I put them in my pocket sometimes for mom and Tim um, to be with me all the time. I was the first one to see my dad die after the car accident, and I was the first one who saw my mom dead after she got shot. On that horrible night, Terry's sister Vicky and her husband Eric stepped in to pick up the pieces. They immediately took in the four Lee children, and they brought them into their three-bedroom home. They moved in with us, just traumatized. The horror and the grief that you, that you see these kids go through, it's so unfair. They left their school, their friends, and literally, within a 24-hour period, had to start over with a brand new life. So here's the thing. Their house is actually pretty nice. Vicki and Eric did a complete renovation about four years ago and built the perfect house for their growing family. But they never imagined that their family would grow so big so fast. This is where Samantha, Taylor, and Tara sleep. And as you can see, it truly is a bedroom. A bigger house, I believe, would give everybody here a space to call their own and to provide that sense of belonging and that sense of comfort and ownership. What's amazing about Vicki and her family is they took this tragedy and they turned it into an opportunity to protect other women and children from domestic violence. Vicki has become a spokesperson for women and even helped write two Minnesota state bills. I'm Governor Tim Pawlenty from Minnesota and I first became aware of the tragedy involving Vicki's sister and Vicki's family more broadly through news accounts, but since then I've had a chance to visit with her and to see how she's promoting legislation that will improve our laws regarding domestic violence and getting the pictures of perpetrators on our criminal records and that's going to be signed into law here shortly in Minnesota and it's the result of Vicki's work. It's our job to continue to fight for other women and children who are impacted by domestic violence. Our top priority is to give her four kids a loving home and um, a place that is safe with lots of family around them and so they know that they're cared for. And I know you can help us do that. Oh, my goodness. This week we can get these guys in a house that's going to be big enough for this huge family that they have now, which I think is exactly what they need to survive what they've been through. So what do you say? Can we do this? Yes. 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 Guys, yes. Let's bring it together for the hundredth time. Are you with me? Yes. Yes. Let's do it! Good morning, Swinson Lee family! Eric, Vicki, Taylor, Ty, Tara, Trevor, Stella, Samantha, and Olivia! Come on out! We have had the honor to meet and help and build homes for 100 families. But this week is about so much more than just giving a family a home. It's about giving a voice to domestic violence so that Terry did not have to die in vain. What's the last 12 months been like for you guys? Whew. A lot of ups and downs. It's one thing to lose a parent, but it's another thing to lose them in such a senseless, violent way. Taylor, you've basically become an adult really quickly. How has the last couple of years been for you? Insane. <laughs> Sad, happy. It's pretty much every emotion that you can ever count. Taylor's now 13 years old. Here's a girl that has seen enough death, more death than any, any 12, 13 year old should ever have to see. They lost their mother a year ago. It's something you don't get over. They'll never get over that. These kids are traumatized. We're hoping that by building this family a bigger home that that, uh, that that'll help. So here's the cool thing. While we're actually working on your house, you guys are going on vacation. <laughs> you guys want to know where you're going on vacation? Yeah! You guys are going to Disneyland! Yeah! All right, here's the thing. We don't have a lot of time, so let's find out what you guys need around here. Sound good? Great. All right, show me the house. Okay. All right. <laughs> This is our multi-purpose room. I can see. <laughs> There's a lot of multi-purpose going on here. Yeah. We, um, when we moved my sister's four kids in, um, 
we started putting away our own things just to get room and more space for people. When I walked into the house with uh, Vicki and Eric, first thing you realize is like, even though the house may look like it's in decent shape, it doesn't have the room it needs for everybody who now lives in it. You know, they've got nine people. They're about to have 10 people living in this house. They desperately need more space. We didn't just move four kids into our home. Um, we moved four kids in who are severely traumatized. I don't even know how Taylor you know, functions with what she's been through. You know, when you think about it, she has watched both of her parents die in front of her own eyes. And then you look at what she accomplishes during her day. She's a straight A student. Um, she participates in the choir. She's on student council. I learn from her every day about strength and how to be resilient. They need this in more ways than we can imagine because not only do they need a house that everyone can fit in, they really need a place to heal. They've been carrying a huge load. And uh, what I'm really glad is that we can help these guys out this week. What are some of the things that your mom taught you? She taught me to swing a bat. What else did she teach you? Football, how to throw it. And hockey, how to shoot. Thinking about her kind of makes us sad, but we can get through it a lot. And how do you get through it? Just let it all out. Just let it all out. If you could make one, one wish in the world, what would it be? Uh, bring her back to life, my mom. Back to life. And yeah, bring Tim back, too. I'm sorry, boys. Tyler's 10 and Trevor's 8. They lost their mother a year ago. All the building in the world is not going to bring that back. It's frustrating for me because you don't know what to say. You don't know what to do to ease their pain. It's tough for them, and it's going to be tough for them. So I think for them to have a room together is a great idea. I want to make sure that I take care of you this week. I mean, what, what do you want for you? What do you think you would like? I really like France. And I think I'd want a canopy bed. A I've wanted bed. one of those my whole life. You sound like a big romantic. France is my thing. I'm going to go to France one day, and I'm going to have that experience. And you deserve it. <laughs> now I hear that you're busy teaching other people about domestic violence. Tell me about that. It affects everyone. Yeah. In some sort of way. And that should stop. I just, I miss my mom so much. Her hugs, her smile. She was always taking care of us, making sure we were okay. I love my siblings, and I look after them as much as I can, but sometimes I just I want to go back to being a little kid. I'm just I'm so thankful that we're together. We're so blessed to have what we have, to have a home, even if we don't all fit. What can we give you this week? I think right now the most important thing would be a dining room table. Having a meal together is like family bonding and if you can't all do that together then there's no connection really. Taylor is 13 years old and oh, what an incredible little girl. This little girl together with her aunt, they're going out to change the world. Taylor wants to make sure that this does not happen to any other children. They're speaking against domestic violence, and this week, we're doing the same. Even if we just stop one family from experiencing this, we'll have done our jobs. Coming up next. They had a great mom, and they had Tim, who was a great man, and then they're both taken from them. We're here to help your family. We're also here to help domestic violence. Since it's our 100th episode, Baxley got in touch with some of the families we've helped before, flew them here to kind of make it even more special. It's like a family reunion. Yeah. This is a very special episode for us. This is our 100th build. These are the families that we've helped change their lives. Domestic violence is prevalent, and unless somebody says we're going to do something about it, it's going to continue to go on. Expert, can you come on over and give me some help <laughs> over here, please? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Congratulations on your 100th home and helping 100 families. It's wonderful to be able to give that happily ever after, that everything will be okay feeling back to another family. It's the greatest thing in the world. 
And later, a tribute to the 100 families we've helped along the way. You guys like Elmo? Who's that? Elmo. Who's this? Stella and Olivia are the cutest little things. And I get to do Stella and Olivia's room, which I am so excited about. And they're very into Elmo. And I think that it's definitely the direction to go. They have love and joy and happiness and a and whole lot of Elmo. <laughs> this is our bedroom. Oh my goodness. You guys wow. don't have much room at all. Can I sit down? That is the largest bed I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. It's just continuous. It's one, two, and three. So this was your room before, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So how do you guys feel about living together? It's like sleepover every single night. What's the worst part? Like if we're in a fight, we'll both start them up to our beds yeah. and just be like, go, go away. away. <laughs> and what do you all like to do? I like volleyball. Like. It's like the best. <laughs> Samantha went from being an only child to being a family of 10. It's got to be hard for her. I'm working on Samantha's room, and Samantha loves volleyball, so there's certainly going to be vo a volleyball element to Samantha's room. So, Tara, that's your bed? Yeah. So, can I gather that you like pink? Yup. I do too. You're in good, <laughs> you're in good hands. <laughs> Tara has so much energy, and she likes pink. I think I've got that handled. This week, I'm going to give Tara the perfect pink room. So, now you guys have got a fairly decent house here. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if we give away some of these things to people who could use it? I would feel a lot better knowing that our appliances or our windows or any, anything that could be stripped from this house could be reused again. I would feel a lot better. I think a new house is gonna be huge for you guys because mm -hmm. you need the space. But I also think a new beginning mm -hmm. could really be helpful for these kids. So. Tell me about the night that you lost your sister. I still struggle with, did this really happen? I wake up every morning and I think this is just a bad dream and it's gonna go away. I think my first reaction was denial. No, it really didn't happen. And my mom kept screaming, yes, it did. I just kept screaming for those four kids. Do you remember what you said to them? I'm so sorry. It was the same thing we said when they lost their dad. How do you explain this to little kids who had finally started to accept the fact that life isn't fair and it hurts sometimes, but you're still gonna be okay? And they were okay. They had a great mom and they had Tim, who was a great man, and life was starting to finally be okay. And then they're both taken from them. I was supposed to grow old with her, you know, and laugh about becoming grandmas. <laughs> and I feel like everybody got ripped off. My parents got ripped off. Um, certainly these kids. And now because of the laws you've passed, every life you save is, is kind of Terry, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And she's somebody's daughter and somebody's mom and somebody's sister. And we can prevent this. I, I believe that wholeheartedly, that we can prevent this. This week, it isn't just about building a house for a family that needs more room. It's about telling a story of domestic violence and letting people realize what that is and who it affects. It affects their kids and anyone who comes in contact with those kids and anyone who has to, like, deal with what they've been through. That's what this, this week is about. Bye! Okay, so there's just a few things left. This is good. That carpet goes. This is kitchen stuff. Okay. How's it going, kitchen boxes. That can go right here, you guys. Okay. Let's go, people! Come on, let's go! Come on out here! How are we doing inside? Oh awesome? Yeah. Okay, 
So these guys are from the local church, and here's what I'm thinking. Okay, this is, uh, it's a decent house. It just isn't big enough for the family, but we got decent doors, windows, uh, appliances, sinks, you name it. So what do you guys say? We actually kind of recycle, salvage, and give it to the family so you can really use it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The Swenson Lee family house was actually in pretty good shape. They did a remodel about four years ago, and we didn't want to just demolish the house. We thought that we could salvage everything in the house, cupboards and windows and molding and wood flooring, everything you can think of went to help other families in need. Ready? All right, we're good to go. Now we got to build a house. All right. All right. Tom and Jason from TJB Homes. So here's the thing, man. This family's been through a lot, but they don't really know how big this is. So what do you say? Should we let them know what's about to happen? Yeah. Yeah. Today's a very big day. Today's a day where we're telling your old house and start building you a new one. But to do that, we're gonna need a lot of people from Minnesota. And they're all here to say hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Oh my gosh. Uh, our builders this week are actually uh, Tom and Jason from TJB Homes. Anything you guys wanna say to the family before we do this? Well, guys, we're really happy. And you know, we know the situation and that's kind of what led us to this. Uh, you know, to give you a helping hand to help the kids. You know, it's not just the family we're helping out. This is reaching out on a second cause, which is, of course, domestic violence. You can see the ribbons that we got. We're handing those out as well, too. And this is going to reach out. It's going to touch a lot of people out there. We're here to help your family. We're also here to help domestic violence. Nice. nice. Well, guys, you heard it, man. This week, we're doing a lot. Not only working on your house, we're also spreading the word about domestic violence. And everybody here is aware of why we're here. So, guys, we've got a big week. What do you say? Who's ready to do some demo? Yeah! <laughs> okay, Swenson okay. Lee family, I tell you what, man. Take a look at what your house looks like now. We have gutted everything. And the cool thing is, we're going to give it to people who really need it. I'm talking windows gone, flooring gone. Oh and now it's time to take this sucker down. All right, let's do this, people. Looks like dinosaurs are just chewing that thing to pieces. Wow. And it's not toys that are laying on the ground, it's house pieces. Hit the deck! If you or someone you know deserves a home makeover, go to abc.com keyword home makeover to apply to be on the show. Good morning. It is the morning of day three. Check it out. We got a house well underway. 5,600 square feet, three floors, seven bedrooms, five baths. These guys are making awesome progress. They've filled all the holes around the... 
Well, not necessarily all the holes have been filled yet. All right, so for Trevor and Tyler's bed here, what we're gonna be doing is these are gonna be steel bunks. They're boys that are tough boys. They're gonna be running around banging things. So what better way to have their, their bunk beds that they'll be able to climb all over, hang stuff off of, than have it out of steel. Need some pizza, man? Oh, yeah. Want a couple? Take a couple. I asked Tara what she loves, and it was pink, 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 pink. So that's what she's going to get. Every shade of pink that you can imagine, that is exactly what she's going to get in her room. And this is kind of my inspiration. Well, I mean, let's face it, this is my inspiration. I love pink. I wear pink all the time. But this right here, I'm thinking the wall, these great big flowers on the wall. I mean, I think for a seven-year-old who loves pink, this is going to be perfect. Since it's our 100th episode, I wanted to surprise the design team. So without them knowing it, I actually got in touch with some of the families we've helped before, flew them here to kind of make it even more special. I mean, you had the Woffords, uh, Rapati Pierce, Christina and her baby Jordan, the Ginyard family, and Veronica and her kids. I see the Burns, I see the Piastawas, the Cadigan Scotts, the Johnson family. You had the Cabinas from Texas. So great to see everyone, everyone was healthy. And these families, it's so cool that they want to pay it forward and really help out another family. It's like a family reunion. Yeah. 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 Big family, yeah. <laughs> so guys, I don't know if you guys remember these guys, but this is Brian Wofford. Yeah. This guy, now since the show, he's actually lost 180 pounds. Yeah. When we arrived, I relived everything from the tragedy of my wife passing away to the joy that this show has brought my family, my children. I wanted to come here for the main reason, to set an example for my children. Hey, Ben, <laughs> what's happening? There he is. Buddy, good to see you. Sorry, baby. What's happening? How are you? Good. Good. good to see you. Look, you, you've actually grown. From the day that Ty knocked on that door and said, Burns family, uh, life has definitely been different. You know, with Benjamin's brittle bone disease, uh, he's limited, you know, in things that he can do. We don't have to worry about Benjamin anytime he's in the house. I have a wonderful house. I want somebody else to have a wonderful house, too. I like the little goatee, awesome. man. Oh, I know, you're looking like me. I love that. Yeah. You're looking good. Well, well thank you, you know. My dreams came true when Extreme Home Makeover came in and said we had a house. They have given us so many good memories by making it a lot easier to deal with the loss of our daughter. When she deployed to Iraq, a hundred families have been able to have their lives just totally changed in a positive way. Here's the cool thing. You guys are all here because you're part of the 100th episode, which means we're helping our 100th family. So give yourselves a hand, man. Thanks to you. After losing my parents, so many things hit all at once. Fear, anger, sadness. For me to be here, to be able to give that happily ever after, that everything will be OK feeling back to another family, it's priceless. I would not trade this experience for anything in the world. So what you're about to see, uh, this is the Swinson Lee family. Now, these guys have been through a lot in the last uh, 12 months. And now they're a family of nine people, soon to be 10. So check out their story. We're the Lee family. Extreme makeover has totally given me a voice to help others with domestic violence because I got out of my situation and I bought a little teeny house. But after a while, things started to fall apart. I couldn't have missed this opportunity to say thank you again because my life has changed completely. I don't know an emergency. Yeah, I got shot fired next door to our neighbor's house. I have her two daughters are right here. They, their mom's been shot She's down the ground. Oh. As a police officer, you feel a personal connection to it, I think, as soon as you hear gunshots, because you deal with domestic violence situations all the time. This guy shouldn't have been out, you know, walking around, unfortunately. The guy that shot me, his rap sheet, he shouldn't have been out, you know, 
When I saw the story, it was, it was tragic. It was very tragic. It was really sad. And I know you can help us do that. What an amazing story, right? Wow. Veronica, that probably hits home a little bit, huh? You better believe it does. You're doing a wonderful thing. For that child to have seen all that and to be the, the tower of strength that she's been for her brothers and sisters. Oh, man. Yeah, they're doing a good thing. It's a, it's a huge, huge, huge job because domestic violence is prevalent and it's out there and it's every day. And unless somebody says we're going to do something about it, it's going to continue to go on. Because I work for it every day. I know what that's all about. Domestic violence shouldn't happen to anyone. It's so senseless. I got out. I got away. Thank God. But she didn't. I'm mad about that. So what do you say? You guys help us out? Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Let's go. Bring it in here, people. Are you with me? Yeah. yeah. Well, then let's do it. <laughs> Okay, Samantha here is all about volleyball. She loves volleyball and she's a very, very good player. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use these photos and then they will be a series of, of like a drop shadow along the wall here where, where she's this way, boop, 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 all the way up from, from the digging to the spiking. Now this is the bed for Taylor's room. Now just imagine this. Right here in the middle, this will go up on the ceiling, this great big piece, but it's not gonna look like this. At the end, it's going to look covered in this fabric. One of the things that Taylor said she really wanted was a canopy bed. She loves culture and she loves France. So I'm gonna give her a room that makes her feel like she's walking into France. Hey guys. Hey, uh, take a break for a minute. I wanna tell you guys something. Okay. So you guys all know it's our 100th episode, right? Yeah. 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 Well, I'll awesome. tell you what. Because of that, I brought in a little bit of surprise. I actually got in touch with eight families we've helped in the past. Are you serious? Oh, families. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Who's here? Who's here? They're here helping already. Uh, they're actually working. Why don't you guys go find them? Team oh, that's up with so them. exciting. We're so excited to see you guys. Okay, I'm on it. So Ty gave us some great news. He is bringing in some of the families we've helped in the past to help us this week, to help us celebrate our 100th episode. But also, we're going to put them in blue shirts, and they're going to help build this house for the Swenson Lee family. The Johnson family from Kansas City. Hey guys, good to see you guys. How's it going? Yeah. How are you? How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Steven Johnson is phenomenal. This guy's a hero. He uh, jumped in during a gunfight to save a paramedic's life. And he's also a hero because the man continues to adopt children who need to be adopted. How long has it been? Two years. Two years. And what's changed in your lives in two years? I got a new one. You? you. What's your name? Chris. Chris. You just keep adopting kids. Well, you gave me a house to do it. <laughs> it's so great to see all of our families pitching in and helping out. Got to hang out with the Woffords and the Piestawas. I mean, Caddick and Scott family helped Tracy and I put together the nursery furniture. It's pretty amazing when you, you realize what a difference a home can make in somebody's life. Yeah. The Cabina family really is a family that changed my life. They fought cancer and they won, and so far, clean bill of health. And it's just, it's exactly what we wanted for this family. Did you guys hear the story of this family? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's heartbreaking. Losing their parents, for one thing. Being there to witness it is another, and in such a violent way. This is something that you can actually do something about or prevent, you right. know? And yeah, it's needless. That's a good point. Needless. We were so excited just to be able to help a family. I am so happy that they're going to get this house because they can't bring her mom back. But this will change her life in a way that will make it easier for them to move on and to just be a family. And all the family, other families that are with us, all of our lives have been changed in such a positive way. And to know that y'all are responsible for that, I can't even imagine. Oh, you're a family. Hey, 
Hey guys, welcome back, ABC. Come on in. Before Extreme Makeover came, we were weary. We've been fighting that cancer so long. Our lives were changed so dramatically for the better. They just gave us our own little paradise is what they did. Hey Sarah, look who's here. Hi ABC, I love my room because it's so pretty. Sarah has been in remission five years. Tara, she had the transplant and she is doing wonderful. Happy 100th episode, ABC. Thank you from the bottom of her heart. Bye. Bye. It's all been sheet rock. The vibe I'm going for here is the young sort of loft feeling, a little bit of a New York vibe. There's more than enough room for 10 people in this house. Okay, so my project this week is, is a gigantic playroom for the whole family. And these kids are gonna need lots of storage so they can put their games and their toys right in this cubby. The only drawback is now I'm gonna need like seven more of these. Now it's time to start thinking outside the box. You're Steve? Yeah, I'm Steve. All right, hey, I'm Michael. Hi, Michael. Nice I understand to meet you. you're Tim's brother. Yeah, Tim was my big brother. He passed away protecting Terry. He sure did. Correct? It's been a real difficult year for us. I can imagine. Yeah. One of the volunteers we've had with us this week is Steve, and he's Tim's brother who passed away trying to protect Terry during that tragedy. I think it's important that we create a place for the children to remember their mother and have a place to reflect, as well as her boyfriend, Tim. So I've come up with an idea to create a memorial in the backyard. It'll always be there, and it'll be there when they need it. I think it's a very appropriate tribute to the two of them. Fantastic. doing Stella and Olivia's room, the cute little twins, and they love Elmo. So I want their room to be all about Elmo. And I could really use some expertise. Expert, can you come on over and give me some help <laughs> over here, please? Hello. Hello. So Hello. happy you're here. I can really use your help. Oh, good, good, good. Well, what do you want Elmo to do? OK, so there's two little girls. Hmm? Stella and Olivia, and they love you so much. Oh, so I thought you. it would be fun to maybe have pictures of you on the wall. Oh, that would be cool. Would that be cool? Yeah. So maybe we could have one jumping. Oh, yeah, yeah, jumping like this. Let me see. OK, like this? <laughs> With yeah, the mother in? OK, OK. And then we need one more because they're two little girls. So oh, yeah, well, Elle, we could use one because Elmo loves reading. Maybe you we could do read one reading. Oh, that's a great idea. So oh, one thank jumping. You. And even a cover Elmo with that wonderful red fur right there. That's right. Cool! Is that so cool? Yeah. Yay! Elmo came up with some great ideas about putting pictures of himself on the wall and maybe make them furry, and then he could record his voice so it would say, hello, Stella, hello, Olivia. And he was very, very helpful. Okay, so should we get started then? Oh, let's go! Okay, Come on, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> So I met the Ginyard family for a little shopping trip. I'll tell you a trick. When you're shopping for a family of nine, take a family of nine with you. Makes it a whole lot easier. All right, let's do some shopping! No, oh, they're gonna need a lot of them. Just get all of them. And it's still on top of it. How do you do it with nine kids? <laughs> okay, guys, we're trying to shop here. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> You like this one? I like that. But I, I, I like this one. 10 people, right? Yeah. So what do you say we get both? Two sets, <laughs> two washers, two like dryers. That. Veronica Ginyard is a special lady. She knows all about domestic violence. This one's really close to her heart. You're the lucky one. Yes, yes. This, this, this lady didn't get out. No. She didn't get away. Mm. That could have been you. Absolutely right. It happens every day. and. That story just touches my heart. It really touches my heart. The fact that the aunt, Vicky? Yeah. Yeah. She's a great woman. She's awesome. She's, she's going to help us all do what we need to do for this d domestic violence thing. Because we need stronger laws. We need people like us to, that really care. 
about Absolutely. this situation. My situation gave me a voice, and I'm no longer a victim, I'm an advocate, and I work towards it every day. We all know it's important what we're doing. It feels like I'm not in this fight by myself. You know, there are other people that have voices and they intend to use them. This is great. We need all the good people on our side. Hi, ABC, how are you? Come on in. My whole extreme makeover has completely changed my life forever. No more worry about my house or my kids or safety. That leaves room for me worrying about just my eight kids. <laughs> That's wonderful. That is wonderful. This is my bedroom suite. By the way, I'm writing a book concerning all that domestic violence, and I'm very passionate about that. Thank you, ABC, because if it had not been for you, I wouldn't have had a voice. Congratulations on helping your 100th family extreme makeover. It's important work you do. Come yeah. back and see us anytime. Bye. Don't roll the credits. We're not even finished yet. Where is everybody? Where'd everybody go? We haven't even finished the house yet. Well, I feel like a, I feel like a gerbil. I need more hamster power. This isn't gonna, we'll never make it this way. A little bit of help wouldn't be nice. Anybody? <sighs> We've got one more hour, so. Don't roll the credit. Ow. Now, our 100th episode continues. Good morning, Swinson Lee family. Come on in. A family torn apart by two tragedies. I was the first one to see my dad die after the car accident. And I was the first one who saw my mom dead after she got shot. How many times was your mom shot? Um, I know one time in the stomach and one time in the hand. And he got my mom's boyfriend too. I think he's dead. A heroic aunt takes in her sister's orphans and wages a war against domestic violence. And now because of the laws you've passed, every life you've saved is, is kind of terry, isn't it? Yeah, we can prevent this. I, I believe that wholeheartedly. This week is about so much more than just giving a family a home. It's about giving a voice to domestic violence so that Terry did not have to die in vain. Tonight. It's like a family reunion. Yes. Yeah. Eight families who have had their own extreme makeovers return to pay it forward. What you guys do and what this show does is give a lot of us a new hope. This is a very special episode for us. This is our 100th bill. These are the families that we've helped change their lives. Let's do it! <laughs> Congratulations on your 100th home and helping 100 families. We help them, give them a safe place where they can heal. And hopefully some of those memories will go away. And some of those nightmares will turn into dreams. This is the greatest thing in the world. And later, a special tribute to our 100 families you won't want to miss. Thank you for changing our lives. What's going on inside? Well, hello, Burns family. Well, hello, Paul. How you doing? This is a very special episode for us. This is our 100th build. Through this, we have had children of our own, 100 of them. That's what these families are like to us. They're like our own flesh and blood. 
Ben Burns, and, and one of the few diseases that I can say is osteogenesis imperfecta. It's a brittle bone disease, and I'll never forget that, osteogenesis imperfecta. It's an awful, awful disease of a little boy who uh, falls down and can break a bone that easily. How many times have been broken bones? Before the makeover? Yes. Roughly 25. 25, and, and how has it been since? Uh, three fifths of three. Three the house, three. none of them at the house. These are the families that we've helped change their lives. We can't cure cancer. We can't bring the dead back, but we can put two by fours together and, and, and shingle the roof and, and give somebody a, 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 a warm place to sleep at night. And uh, that, that's what we know how to do, and, and that's what we, we do. I plan on being here for the 200th show. I wouldn't miss that. I will see you then, and I will you see bet. you at the 200th show, all right? Well, you take care. Take care of yourself. Things for you, it's a uh, to remember domestic violence. People will be watching out for that. How's it going? Thank you. Oh, it's going great. What are you guys doing? We're handing some pins out right now. What is this? These well, are the pins for domestic violence. We're trying to make an awareness of this to the public. There's been some laws passed here in Minnesota to help this. What I love about these guys from TJV Homes is that they knew it was more than just about building a house. It was about bringing the subject of domestic violence into the forefronts of people's minds. They want everyone to know the dangers of domestic violence. Got one left. It's going right here on the lapel. Hello? Hello, Swinson Lee family. Uh, who am I talking to? Trevor. Trevor, how are you, man? How's the vacation going? Good. We've gone on pretty much every single ride. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm about to send you on something you guys have never been on. You guys are going on Finding Nemo's submarine voyage. Sounds pretty good, right? Yeah. All right. You guys have fun. I'll talk to you soon, OK, Tra? Yeah. We had never taken a vacation together as a family of nine, so this was a whole new experience for us. I think part of moving forward is to have those shared experiences, and this was above and beyond anything we could dream of. Where are you, Nemo? Who's Nemo? I was so excited that we got to go on the Finding Nemo ride. To see Nemo and then the sharks just pop out at you, it was so cool. ABC, welcome back. As you can see, not a whole lot of things have changed since you guys did the house three years ago. The house itself changed our life in such a way that we don't have to worry about the house and Benjamin getting hurt and all that. We can concentrate on other things, like just being a family and having good times. Hey, what's up, ABC? Well, everything's awesome. I still got my picture of Mr. T. I'd like to thank ABC for my home, the other 99 homes that they've done. To tie in the designers, you guys are wonderful. Happy 100th Extreme Makeover. Come back anytime. Bye. Thanks for coming. Goodbye. and Tyler love everything there is to love about Minnesota sports. So my first stop, the Minnesota Wild. To make Trevor and Tyler's room the best possible room it can be, I'm going to have to go visit all these franchises. That's the Timberwolves, the Twins, the Wild, and the Vikings. So uh, that's where I'm going to be going. Hey, look I'm at this. Him. Yeah. A Paul for Paul. Yeah, a Paul for Paul. Perfect. Oh, yes. What else? Hats? Yeah. Do we have any hats yet? Looks like I'm in the right place. Paul DeMeo. Hey, Paul. Fred Hoiberg. Nice to meet you. OK, this is an autographed basketball by Corey Brewer. It, now, was this used right here in the arena? That was used in the arena. 17! What? 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 Hi, Dave. Thanks so oh, much for yeah. having me. Welcome. All of these teams were so supportive of the Swenson Lee family. So in the end, I, I got bobbleheads. I got twins baseballs. I got twins bats. I got twins jerseys. I got hockey putts. I got hockey sticks. I got jerseys from the Wild. I got jerseys from the Timberwolves. Very, very cool. Trevor and Tyler's room, it's going to be, it's going to be the Hall of Fame of sports. Touchdown, Minnesota Vikings!
There you go. You want to get here in the corner. You have to get here in the, yeah, get here in the corner. That's it. Hey, guys. How are you? How are you? How are you? So good to see you. Police officer Christina Rapati from Redondo Beach, California, was shot and paralyzed from the waist down in the line of duty. This disrupted her entire life and her relationship with her little baby girl. We showed up and made a difference. We built them a home that was accessible and gave Christina her independence back. All the families that have been on the receiving end of this have been put in a situation where something, you know, pretty tragic or, you know, difficult has happened to them in their lives. And what you guys do and what this show does is give a lot of us a new hope. And what you're going to provide for this family, this is going to make stuff a lot easier, as it has with each and every family that you've helped. So it's just really an amazing, remarkable thing. Thank you. <laughs> we love you guys. Oh, thank you. Bye. We love you guys, too. Oh. You get that? These are those Elmos that we're going to put on the wall. Stella and Olivia are going to be able to go up to these Elmos on their wall and push the button, and they will talk back to them. This one's going to say, I love you, and that tickles. So now all I have to do is really just put all the pieces together. OK, this is looking good. Now, this is for, for, for Taylor's France room, and when you hold this up, help me lift this. This is actually gonna be the side of the bed, so it's these great rich colors, and it's going to be so beautiful and so French. So yay, thank you girls, I'm inspired. I'm inspired me to do too. something me French. Too. What's French? <laughs> How about the can can? Can can! I can't speak! Can can! Come here, come here, ready? Ready? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> this is what I really think that you'll appreciate. Maybe you can help me grab one of the uh, ends of this. Oh wow. It's got the two T's. I think this circle is really poignant because it kind of ties it all together. Yeah, it does. One of the volunteers that was helping this week was Steve, and he is Tim's brother. And I think it's really important to him that his brother's not forgotten either. And he was really touched. He was touched we thought of that and thought of them, and I think he was honored and, and grateful to be a part of it. Tim and Terry are smiling right now because I think they would like this. It's beautiful, isn't it? It, is. it really is. What do you say we uh, grab a shovel? OK. And let's put some of these beautiful flowers. We can just uh, dig a few holes here and make it even more beautiful. Hi, ABC. Welcome back to our home. We're the Wofford family, and we're glad to have you here. We lived in this little 1,300 square foot home, and all of a sudden we're living in this grand and exquisite palace. It's afforded us so many uh, comforts that we wouldn't have had. We're, we're grateful for it. It's, it's a great place to be. This is the most talked about thing in our home. All the surfboards. We get emails, we get all types of stuff, compliments. Aren't you the guy with the surfboards in the house? That's us. This show is what America is all about. ABC Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Happy 100th episode. You've done a great job. Thanks for coming. Well, it's the morning of day six. And uh, when it's time to lay some grass, you know it's a really good sign because that means the landscaping is almost done. Awesome. You're security, right? Yes, I am. I'm so glad you're here. Here's the thing. This is my secret project downstairs. Okay. So I need you to pretty much make sure nobody goes down there. I'm talking volunteers, designers. I put a cop to keep people out. But with the design team, especially with people like Michael, it's like they just don't get it, you know? I mean, I can put the National Guard there, and they'd still try and get in. They really need kind of their own thing. You just gotta tell them something. No, can't. Come on, let me do no, it. Come on. No, 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 no. You gotta get back, sir. Sir, you gotta get back. God, you're so bossy. Whoa! Look at this room. Oh, oh, look, you saw the squiggly lines in the piano? Oh, there's Dorothy, just like in Elmo's world. Boy, boy. 
We Stella and Olivia's gonna love this. Yay! <laughs> wow, cool. Excuse me. Oh, Elmo, what are you doing? Tracy. We're almost giving everyone a sneak preview. <laughs> but we're not finished yet, Elmo. We still have a lot of work to do. Oh, well, that is true. There's no beds. No beds. No curtains. No curtains. Well, and no duvets. <laughs> Definitely no duvets. <laughs> and absolutely no toys. I know, so we have a lot of work to do. Yeah, we have to do it. Let's go, Miss Tracy. Okay, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, guys, for three quarters, we've been doing really good. Now, it's a push to finish this fourth quarter, all right? Let's go out and win this game. One, two, three. Emma can help put clothes in the closet. Oh, good. Okay, okay. here you go. Let's load it. I found this picture in the family's old home and I had it blown up and I, I think it's awesome. I think it represents who they are. It'll be the first thing they see when they come through the front door. Miss Tracy, that's enough! Oh boy. Oh. It's the day before the family comes home. The house really finally came together. Uh, we got all the furniture in the place and I uh, find out that the families that we've invited back um, have invited us to uh, like a little barbecue right down the street at this park. They just wanted to thank us for letting them be involved in this project. Congratulations on your 100th home and helping 100 families. You do a glorious and wonderful thing. God bless you all. We love you. Thank you, man. Who was it? Being able to thank the designers and the volunteers of the barbecue was just the most awesome thing, the most wonderful thing that we could have done. Because we know how affected our lives had been, and we wanted to give something back. It's, it's never been the same. It never will be the same. And we are so grateful for that. What, what can I help with? Nothing. This is our treat to you guys. This is our way of paying back. Thanks for doing this. Oh, no. This <laughs> <laughs> you want to put it in my hair? Okay, you fix my hair. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's coming it up. It's like a real family reunion. When I look around at these families and seeing how they've changed and how much love they have for not only us but each other and the unity that we have as a family, that's when you realize you're not alone. I really do um, have a bigger family than I thought. This is. Pretty incredible. Uh, the fact that you guys are here, you came to help out another family. It's really, really special that you guys did this for us. Um, but I wanted to let you know that uh, our friends at Sears want to make sure that you guys got wish cards. So wow. basically, anything you guys wish for your house, you can go get it. Oh so. my God! Oh. It was great seeing these folks. It was great hearing new stories about, you know, life since then. It's great hearing that, uh, you know, you've made you made a difference in somebody's life. No matter what we say, no matter what we uh, set out to do, it can change in an instant. We we've seen what what is family. You know, this is this is our families. We we started something five years ago and we didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> this guy is crazy. You know, <laughs> all of a sudden we're tearing down homes and building them up in seven days. We just keep making them, so uh, I'm, I'm just happy to be part of part of all of your guys' family. ABC, welcome back. The new house changed our lives instantly, especially for me being able to get around. It was wide open. Everything was so easy for me to get to and access. I would have never, ever imagined, you know, being on the receiving end of such an amazing gift. Well, to go down the hall, you can see all the 
great pictures they took of us when we were down in Cabo. Happy 100th episode, ABC. You guys have done an amazing job and you've changed a lot of people's lives. A lot of people love you for it. Bye, ABC. Thanks, Thanks for coming, coming by. by. I'm so excited to be helping these kids. I'm this so is excited you're great. here. <laughs> We're putting the finishing touches on the house, and I stopped in to see the family. You know, we knew they were coming home in just a little while, but we had such big news that we just couldn't wait. Hey, guys. <laughs> I brought my friend Bill Austin from the Starkey Hearing Foundation, who's been a friend of the show for years, and he's got some very special news that he wants to share with you guys. You guys are the best, to, you know, to, to take on this expanded family and, and take such good care of them, and they're going to be the future of our world, and they need to go to school, and what I have is a, a scholarship fund that I wanted to start. Oh, oh my gosh. Now for the family, <laughs> and uh, I want to change this because oh. there's twice as many children as I thought there would be that need to go to school and need scholarships. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really just change this to 200000 oh One of my first thoughts when we were getting settled as a family was, oh my gosh, how do you put eight kids through college? And when Bill came in and generously gave us that $200,000, it was the biggest relief. Uh, I felt so incredibly happy. I'm, I don't know what to say except thank you. You're welcome. They're really bright and they work really hard and they will do well. And this is just an incredible gift for them. Anticipation coming home was amazing. We come rolling around and it's just, uh, it's hard to describe. I mean, the sound washes over you, the emotion washes over you. You just know that your life is gonna change. You know that. And seeing all those people there that are sharing that moment with you is, is pretty magical, to say the least. What I find amazing is, is that you guys have really done something phenomenal, giving these guys uh, a new start. But you haven't given up, you've changed laws so that what's happened with domestic violence won't happen to anyone again. You really are an inspiration, man. And the one thing you gave a lot of was love, but what you didn't have a lot of was space and room. <laughs> well, I promise you this, what's behind this bus <laughs> is a lot more room. So are you ready to see what's behind this bus? Yes! Yeah. Are you guys really ready? Yeah. four kids, they moved into our house. And now it belongs to all nine of us. And everybody has a sense of belonging. And when you think about just basic human needs, that's a big one, to have a sense of belonging. So you guys, do you like the house? Love the house. <laughs> Love the house. We couldn't have done it without, I tell you what, some people that work just nonstop. I'm talking Tom and uh, Jason Budzinski and the guys from TJB yeah. Homes, man. Yeah. These guys. We get this one chance in a lifetime to really show what we can do, bringing a community together to build a house for a family. Actually, it's not just a house. You know, it's not the sticks, it's not the bricks. 
There's a bonding agent in that house that doesn't exist in a lot of homes. And it's called love. These guys did it. It was a labor of love. This house is for you guys. Hopefully it's going to be a new start. You can put some of the, the bad things behind you and get on with the good. And I'm hoping when you walk through that door, you're going to feel nothing but good. So Swinton Lee family, <laughs> go check out your new house. All right. All right. Go check out your new house. Yes, right. thank you. Right. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at our picture. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at where you guys can eat. When I first walked through the door, you know, I was so happy. Like, my eyes just went, oh my gosh, I was just so overwhelmed. We have definitely been on a journey, and we have something, you know, more than good to look forward to. We have something, you know, awesome to look forward to. It's like, this is going to be great. <laughs> so, guys, what do you think of your house? <laughs> the moment you want to put your shoes on. Oh, my gosh, it's, oh, it's the most it's nice, right? Unbelievable. I want to show you around because now I know you guys wanted to have a big space where you could kind of see it, but this is the great room. Check out the photo. You guys remember that? Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. That is the greatest yeah. thing in this room. That I love that so photo. Happy. You guys look so happy. It's so cool. I really like the picture in there on the mantle. That's probably the number one thing. I mean, it's just a, it's such a great picture. It really shows us it's not your classic, you know, everyone's stiff and smiling and standing. I mean, it's they're going crazy, which is what people do and what kids do so I love that in there I think it's just great so check this out oh now God. before you guys had a room that was just completely cluttered <laughs> these are brand new washer oh dryers from God. Sears I know how much laundry you guys do as a family with this many kids uh -huh. well these guys can run all day and all night and the coolest thing is not only do you have these, but you've also got more upstairs. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We do anywhere from 18 to 21, 22 loads of laundry each week. And to see the washer and dryer and the space to actually do laundry, I felt like, wow, this is going to work for a family of 10. Now Taylor, come with me for a minute, okay? Now I know before you mentioned that the one thing you only want made to make sure that you, your family had was this dining table. Yeah. Well, what do you think of this? You think there's enough room for everybody? Yeah. Now, why was this so important to you? Well, we couldn't all fit at our table before, and I think that eating meals is a good family bonding time, but if we weren't all together, how is that bonding and now? We can all fit. We can be a family. I remember when we got the news that neither my mom or Tim made it, I just I started sobbing. You know, who are we going to live with? Where are we going to go? Where are we going to be OK? <laughs> but my Aunt Vicky and my Uncle Eric, they opened their hearts and their home, and they took us in. And just knowing that we have family like that, so loving, that is the greatest thing in the world. So guys, you've got an awfully big house. Would you like to see some more of your house? Yeah! yeah. Well, guys, go check out the rest of your house! Oh, my gosh! <laughs> oh, look at this! <laughs> oh, look at that! It's round! <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my gosh! That is you! Oh, wow. My new room is so amazing and it has just the right amount of space and it's just me, you know? Volleyball. <laughs> That's what I love. Whoa! Oh cool. my gosh! Dude, a bat signed by Mauer. Look at the chairs and the Timberwolves. Tyler, sign baseballs up here. I got a lot of autographs in my bedroom and I got a Vikings jersey that said my name on the back and I was really happy to see all that. Oh my gosh! It's so pink. Look at this, Tara. I love pink. It's so pink. Taylor! <laughs> my new room, it's like all pink and stuff. It's huge. It's exciting that I have my own room now. I really, really love it. Oh my. Oh 
Elmo! 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 I think there's a few Elmos in this. Elmo! Elmo! Elmo loves Olivia. Oh my gosh! So pretty! It's amazing! This room means the world to me, you know? It's my little space to go when I want to be like alone or something. It doesn't have to have a sign that says Samantha, Taylor, Tara, it's just Taylor. It's mine, you know? It's not anybody else, it's just my special little, you know, dream come true. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Wow. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. just for us. It is. <laughs> it's beautiful. Look at the bed. All nine of us gave up a lot when we combined our families. And the one thing that Eric and I lost was some privacy to see our master bedroom. It was unbelievable. I felt like I was in a retreat, this special private place just for Eric and I. And it's beautiful. What do you guys think of oh the room? This is, um, it's cool, right? It is so amazing. I got to get a thesaurus out because I keep saying unbelievable. <laughs> I, get some new words. I think it's fun, you know, yeah. the colors. Uh, you guys have got your fun. own space. You can shut the door, get away from the kids. There's also one other feature I want to show you in here that I think you'll find pretty important. This is security cams set up all over your house. There's the front door, you can see who's in the backyard. You can basically see who's around your house and who's in your house. That's amazing. So you can keep an eye on your family. That is, awesome. so um, that is so great. That is so great. I thought that would give you some peace of mind. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, this has been a pretty special week for us. It's our 100th show. Uh, you guys are 100 family. And because of that, we've kind of been celebrating all week. And actually, a few other families that we've helped in the past actually came here and helped us. And, um, well, they were pretty touched. And actually, well, wanted you to see something. So uh, let me show you this. All right. Hi, Swenson Lee family. My name is Veronica Ginyard. Um, I'd like to say, Vicki, you are an extraordinary person. And we need people like you to help us fight the struggle. Thank you for being there for us. Just enjoy this experience. It is one that you will never have again, and you're gonna cherish it for the rest of your lives. Hey, Eric, hey, Vicki, my name is Steven Johnson. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Hey, I'd like to congratulate you guys on your new home and welcome you to the Extreme Makeover family. And I'd like to commend you guys on taking in your kids, you know, going from a small family to a big family. Now you have the room to do it, enjoy it, you know, hey, hang in there. I'm Jennifer from the Cadigan Scott family, and I just want to say, I know you guys have been going through some rough times, but now that you have your new home, everything will be great. Congratulations and welcome home. You could feel the warmth of all these people, you know, who had had their lives changed and were welcoming us into that family. If we're the 100th episode, uh, 99 other, you know, families have gone through this, and um, it's a wonderful shared experience. Oh, that's so mm. nice. Wow, <laughs> what great cool. people. Yeah. I just thought it was really cool that they wanted to say a few things to you guys. Absolutely precious. And people have said welcome to the family, and you really get that sense from all of you. Well, you guys definitely have a great family, um, which reminds me, guys, we're not done yet. Oh Follow me. Right. Right. Okay. Parents like Vicki and Eric make you realize really what good parenting is. These guys have showed you how you survive something as horrible as domestic violence. It can scar you for the rest of your life, but all scars have to have time to heal. What I love about this week is that we help them, give them a safe place where they can heal, and hopefully some of those memories will go away, and some of those nightmares will turn into dreams. Well, I know that um, since this is one big family, and I know you guys lost a few members, and I know how important they are, well, Michael wanted to do a stone that uh, had a symbol on it, Terry and Tim, that kind of means a lot. It's a place for the whole family to gather. I really think it turned out pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It means a lot to me that, you know, the design team thought of this memorial to put in our new home. We have that spot to go to, to remember, and to have, you know, even sad thoughts or happy thoughts. After this whole tragedy with my mom, I just, I lost both my parents. I'm not gonna say that I won't recover and not, you know, be happy again, because I will. <laughs> I have been happy again, but I'm never gonna forget my parents. I'm never gonna forget what great people they are. 
<laughs> I love you. Mm, love you more. No way. <laughs> For my secret project this week, I actually decided to give you guys the perfect playroom. It's going to be a place for fun for kids of all ages. Guys, go downstairs and check it out. All right, go downstairs. Go. Oh, now you want to go, huh? Oh, my God. 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 This is so fun! Oh, it's adorable! Ty's secret project was amazing. It means so much to my family to have a room like that and like be together and it's like, again, it's family bonding and family bonding is really important and that's a great room to do it in. You guys like the playroom downstairs? Yeah! yeah. It's a place to have fun, right? Yeah. yeah! Well, you guys also like to play outside, don't you? Yeah! Well, then you're gonna love this. Follow me! Oh! You see so much happen in the world and so many bad things, so many tragic things. And how you deal with it, how you respond to that, really defines the person that you are. And for the Swenson Lee family, their character shines through. They're still giving, they're still loving, they're, they're going out and making a difference in this world. And I think everyone can learn from that. I know that you are not gonna stop until lots of laws have been changed to make sure something, what, what happened to your sister never happens to anyone else. I think she's very proud of her kids. They're good people. They treat other people with respect. And um, I think she's proud of all of us as a whole family. Time is a really good thing for healing. And our new home really gives us that opportunity to heal and to be alone when you want to be alone, but to be together when you need to be together. And I am so thankful. The compassion and the sincerity is so felt from each of you. And um, just know that it's very much appreciated. We feel the love, okay. big time. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I guess there's just one thing left to say. Welcome home, Swinson Lee family. Welcome home. Yeah! yeah! Uh, <laughs> high fives, people, high fives. Yeah! So what do you say? You guys want to play some volleyball? I can't believe we actually just finished our 100th episode, uh, helped out our 100th family. I'd just like to say thank you to anyone who's ever been involved in Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Because of what you guys have done, 100 families sleep sounder, healthier, and safer. And I'll tell you what, that's something to be proud of. It just shows you that, you know what? If you give a little of yourself, you really can make a difference. Because of you guys, we've helped out 100 families. Let's hope we can help a hundred more. Bring it in here, people. Let's make it happen. Are you with me? Yeah. Well, then let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. 100 families. 100 new homes. Man, has it been a long trip. And we're not going to stop until the job is done. Hello, New York. Good morning, Texas. Black man. I tell you what, you people are, are completing the dream. Oh, but ain't that a We aren't heroes. We're here today as angels. Every now and then in life, you have things that are truly defining moments. We're going to build this house. We're going to change their lives. And let's build it with a heck of a lot of love. We will do the impossible this week. We will succeed.
we're not just building a house for this family. We are rebuilding their dreams. And to think that we've done a hundred of these, my hat's off to all of our builders and to all the communities we've been in. People often doubt that we can build a house in seven days. Well, we do. We have helped a hundred families. One hundred families. You just have to believe. Here we go! Here goes the first day! This is what family and community is about. This is what America is about. And it gives you hope that if something ever goes wrong with you or your family, that there's people out there that'll help. Well, there's people. We got it! You've given my family something that I could never do. And for that, I will always be grateful. It's like a dream come true. And we've been dreaming for a long time. Thank you just for giving us our life back. Let's finish the job. Yeah. This is a new life. Thank you for changing our lives. It's good to be home. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're part of our family now. Thank you. And uh, we love you guys. If you believe, then it can happen. This is once in a lifetime dream come true. Thank you so much. We love every one of you. When we get to touch lives like this and get to meet the kind of people we meet, I hope we get to do 100 more. Thank you, ABC! We love our house! To find out more about the products used on tonight's show, go to abc.com keyword home makeover. I watch Almost World with my little boy. Oh, good! Yeah! And I hope you watch too when you come out. <laughs> I promise. Are you okay? Shall we do fun? Oh. Hey, don't kick Elmo. Okay, Elmo has to rest. Oh, yeah. Elmo needs a nap. <laughs>